That one's doing the science over there. This one's doing the science here. Hopefully that fleet isn't going to jump in and kill them. Uh, wait, there was another fleet there. Uh, those are our guys. That's their star state. Okay. Um, well, let's get the four fleet on this job. Just poise there, but it doesn't look like we're a match for them. Okay, we need to build better ships. Ah, Valentina Kerman died. Ah, oh, that's a harsh, harsh thing. Okay, so our Dunia sector needs a new governor. We got, uh, we got our huge fleet, our south south fleet, I guess we could call it, or something like that, destroyed by a bunch of little mosquito corvettes. Peggy Kerman. Add little Kerman. Ooh, uh, science output. Okay, movie Kerman. Movie Kerman, okay. Alright. Movie Kerman is in charge of our sector. Has better science output. Okay. So, uh, we haven't started building that uh, battleship, have we? Two battleships? I guess that's reasonable. Complete. Zalcor are swarming insect analogs. Unusual both for their large size and the fact that they ha are lithovores, feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground. One of the shuttles belonging to the KSP Ike 7 sustained serious damage, duh, damage when it inadvertently passed through a large swarm and several Zalcors began to feed on its hull. Construction of the special containment facilities required to hold these creatures has already begun. Okay, we have learned more things. Let's build some cruisers. I wish I could get some like more efficient shields. We could finish this blue shard thrower pretty quickly though. But I, I feel like hyper shields are... Wow, that's gonna take forever. Okay, that's pretty hyper. Alright, uh, let's finish blue crystal capacitors first since that's only a month. Okay, let's see. I think our science ships are done in that dangerous sector. So let's have them retreat back to Palomar. And wait for more science to do. And that's the fourth fleet. Construction complete. Do we dare send them into Binor, where our other fleet perished? I don't think so. But I'll retain control over... Corolla. I think Corolla? I think so. Oh, we've got an ally there. The Gagasi Consciousness. We should just follow. Can we just tell them? Oh, we need a thing so that we can follow. Follow another fleet. Because only by a concentrated effort will we be victorious. Okay, so Canopus has some good habitable worlds. And I'm going to send our colony ship to this one. Colonized planet. Oh, it's so tiny. Construction complete. No, 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 no. Uh, cancel. Cancel. Um, how about you? You're not so tiny. Okay, that's better. All right, colony sh No, that's not what I wanted to do. Colony sh hmm. Yeah, uh, colonize this one. Hmm. There. All right. Very good. We're still at our energy credit limit. Okay. How about those fleets? They're all sort of gathered here. Um. If I move, will they move? Uh, are they following me? Maybe. Maybe they're following me. Ooh, yeah. They're following me. I'm somehow team leader. That's interesting. But will they follow me into Binor, where my other fleet got slaughtered? Let's get a really close look at this and be ready to warp out. Uh, okay, they're going. Well, we're all going this way. I guess that's the way to warp to it. Uh, I hope I don't arrive early. That's not a good idea. All arriving at the same time would be nice. Okay, physics Hostile research. Oops. Oh, so, hold on. Where? Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, hold on. I need to 
sorry, uh, research peoples. I'll store that for now. What the heck is going on? Um, so it looks like we're doing well, I think. Man, this is one mess of a bunch of ships. Let's get rid of that. There's some serious lag with this many ships. Epic space battles. You only get them here or EVE Online, I guess. I think we won. Or maybe not. Oh, we're shooting that thing now. Well, we haven't built our battleships yet, I can tell. Yeah, that's Jeb. Okay, uh, we really need to select some research. Okay, red shard thrower, no. We could finish up res red lasers pretty quickly. Alright. Um, Amoeba flagella. Hydroponics farm. How about something that increases our energy? credit cap, but it doesn't seem like it. Regenerative hull tissue is almost done. I guess we might as well finish it off, huh? Hydroponics Farm 3 is also doable. But yeah, let's finish off regenerative hull tissue. Alright. Uh, and actually, maybe retask Lana Kerman to it. Uh, well, let's just uh, lay siege to Fel Fenhalor. Um, it seems to be their capital. Oh, well, we're engaged in battle, so we can't tell them to do that. They're very set in their ways once they start firing. We've already got a 72% victory thing going on here. War score. Well, we're gonna have very expensive battleships. We have very expensive battleships. Let's build some more power plants. Hostile fleet engaged. Power Hub 2. Sounds excellent. I like Power Hub 2. Okay, but battleships. This is one battleship. Situation There's two cruisers, so one battleship has more military power than two cruisers. Impressive. Oh darn. Some, Colony okay. established. Colony established. Alright, now we have too many worlds again. Yep. Okay, Oddman. Oddman Kermanak. That actually sounds like a legitimate Kerbal name, so I'll, I'll leave that be. Let me just clear all the messy tiles from this. And... We'll, uh, we'll wait. Not have to wait to upgrade that. Okay, well, we have a colony. Hostile they keep sending in these tiny little hostile fleets. I might as well... Well, after this, I'll have to s create a detachment to deal with them. Hopefully that'll work out. I wish our allies would deal with them, and then we can bombard Finn Halor Research in complete. peace, if you will. Okay. That's fine. And this fleet goes over here, and it is aggressive. This other fleet stays right where it is, and attacks that silly world. Anyway, we have our colony down here, so that's nice. But we've got this formidable enemy also. How's our stats stack up now that we've built two battleships and some extra cruisers? Probably still not good enough. 
but let's check. Communicate. No, they're still overwhelmingly more powerful. Overwhelming that technolog technologically too. I'm pretty sure uh, research agreements out of the question. Yeah. Yep, I got the feeling they would slaughter us fairly easily. They got to be a thorn in our side. Doesn't seem like anybody's gone for anything over here. But maybe we just don't have the map info. Um, Holy Beldros Principality. Well, looks like something's happened there. Um, looks like they've lost some control here. Planet does not belong to our opponents. Oh, that's a good way of getting out of having to liberate the planets. Um, they're now part of this other Beldross Principality. And I can't, uh, can't demand anything else except for what the Gagasi Consciousness already had. Construction complete. Alright, uh, what kind of progress are we making on complete. that place? Alright, uh, a little bit more than half left there. Jeb is all done here. Jeb really needs to be our capital. Well, we can't make it the Empire Capital Complex because we don't have enough influence. We need more influence. Shoot. That's going to take a long time to acquire. But I really want this to be my capital. Oh, I'm going to have to spend uh, 100 influence to make a planetary capital on this world. Construction. Beldross Star State has declared Felnol Coalition their rival. Isn't that a little bit late? They're already at war with them. Research complete. So many battles. Okay, Green Shard Thrower is finally done. Uh, Power Plant 3 sounds interesting. Energy storage capacity, we needed more of that anyway. And Batherian Power Plant 3 sounds good too. Just take a quick look at other things, but yeah, I don't think anything compared to that. UV laser is possible, but this is much more important. Okay, uh, scientist has gained a level. We still have too many planets. We would like to do science here, but our our science ships keep running away when we send them in. Let's try again. I think we have finally gotten rid of the planetary fortifications here, but they still got their armies. And I don't know anything about building an army. I guess it is time to do so. And I will start at Tikim. New Moho. Assault army. Doesn't cost too much maintenance. Alright. Three there. And what's our next closest system? Lyrum. that right? Oh, we don't have actually... Uh... We don't have a colony there. Well, we totally need to colonize that place. I should also have defense armies. I've been very negligent about that. Especially for our, my two core worlds. Only the main attacker or defender can send offer offers. Well, uh, when the heck is Gagasi Consciousness gonna try this? I mean, we're not gonna get a better war score. Oh, well, actually a war score says 223. I mean, we've got a hundred percent here. Debris analyzed. I'd like the Gagasi consciousness to just end this thing. Debris analyzed. I need to find another world to add to the sector so that I don't have the over-controlled planets issue. Tikim seems to be like the most likely candidate. Hostile fleet engaged. All right, where? Okay, we've completed recruitment of armies. Good luck, any hostile army trying to survive all this mess. 
if we try and well maybe if we make a sector with Tikkim and Palomar that bounce out then it'll have the Vitharian stone there okay who died ah we need a scientist there okay well we can recruit one now research speed research speed survey speed well we want research speed computing well we haven't gotten one like that before but that scientist is pretty old no offense oh we can't recruit him we don't have enough influence ooh this is bad yes we need to create a new sector now situation log updated that and that and share Zubin and Hamcad hostile fleet that's engaged. fine Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, finish. So now we have two sectors. Uh, still waiting for the influence, but at least we're gaining three each month now. We haven't really expanded very much in this session. I feel like I haven't done enough colonizing and expanding. Hmm. Okay, more colony ships. Xenophile, fanatic materialist. I, I, I'm not entirely sure about this select colonist thing. I mean, are we? Uh, does anybody actually pick uh, peoples that are not matching the current ethics of the civilization? I don't know. Do we run out of those, maybe? I'm even gonna build another colony ship here. Oh, that, uh, nope, that, that matches, yeah. And so we'll have rapid expansion. Okay, more army recruitment. Come on, can we end this war already? It's because I'm not war leader. It's the problem. Now they have, found, they have full planetary fortifications. What are you guys doing? That one is out of anybody's control. We could actually colonize that one. That's pretty far away from our core sectors. I don't know if there's any downside to that. You know, in uh, like Euro Europa Universalis or Civilization, you try and uh, colonize something way over there, it's gonna cost you. Lots of upkeep cost and inefficiencies like that. I don't know if that's true here. I haven't really been building stations to capture resources. Let's do that. Especially the energy credits. But also the science. Look at this place. I haven't captured any of the science. This is horrible. I've totally forgotten about my construction ships. It's a total part of the game I have completely neglected. I need more construction ships, in fact. Who isn't building ships right now? Jeb. Construction complete. Alright, there's a colony ship, and let's send that over to Lyrum 1A to colonize the planet. And that looks like a sweet spot. You know, uh, I haven't really seen the limits of the habitability. I mean, when it's a really low habitability thing, I don't really feel like that limits... That, that, that means that I shouldn't try and send a colony there. So that's a little bit weird. Oh, well, there's a... Uh... Oh, we can't colonize that one yet. Okay. Well, that will definitely stop me. Well, uh, ocean world at Plov. Tropical world there. Tropical worlds here. Mudstrom. All right. Oh wait. Uh, well, that's got a lot of energy credits. This has a lot more science. Well, this is energy credits and science. I'll go for this one. Well, that's got some energy engineering science. The engineering is currently our best, so I'll go here. Let's see, which tropical world? That's a lot of places. Okay, and how about here? 
But that's not so much. Okay, Mudstrom 2C. And we will colonize it here is a good spot. Hopefully with all the all the power plant upgrades that we were doing, uh, that should be fine. It's not going to cost us too much by way of upkeep to build those mining stations. So that was Lout, and then Moodstrom is still being colonized. And then we'll have these two colonies down here. And then hopefully we can extend our influence like that. And this will be next. Mirzoon isn't really... Well, it is within our space now. It keeps telling me maybe it's in our space, maybe not. But okay, it looks like it's in our space. So we can build a research station. Okay, Lana, Kerman, aww. Uh, we still don't have enough uh, influence. But, you know, uh, since we built a, a colony on one of the places that we had a frontier outpost, colony here, we can get rid of this frontier outpost. They're hardly even worth it. But I'm really tempted to attack them because they're sort of a thorn in my side here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's uh, in uh, Europa Universalis 4, there's a penalty for just wantonly declaring war, but I, I'm not seeing that here. I haven't seen any penalty for being a warmonger. But uh, I don't know if somebody else plays the game, whether they think, uh, whether they know that there is a penalty. Since our initial settlement of Loud, several anomalies in the moon's biosphere have been discovered. The ecosystem is unstable and has not developed according to projected models for a world of this type. Our scientists suspect outside tampering, and these suspicions have now been confirmed. A few of our colonists have stumbled upon a large underground terraforming complex that was built thousands of years ago. The equipment was apparently deactivated in the middle of the terraforming process, leaving the moon's biosphere in its current unfinished state. If we supply enough power, we should be, enabled, we should be able to reactivate the machinery, there is no telling what the end result will be like. However, uh, okay, so there's resume process or dismantle equipment. Okay, so we've got some interesting options here for this abandoned terraforming process. I think I should leave this, you guys, well, it seems like there's a engineering possibility. So this will cost engineering, maybe there'll be an engineering result, or we can resume the process. So should we resume the terraforming process, or should we dismantle the equipment? Resume. Okay. Okay, so construction ships are doing what they do. We need to... Let's see. I think we need to expand this Special sector project. over here. Okay, the aborted terraforming process on Loud has finally been complete, completed. After seeding the atmosphere with billions of terraforming nanites, the alien bioengineering machinery has significantly altered conditions on the moon's surface. The ecosystem and climate have both stabilized and a new alien biota adapted to this climate has been introduced. Okay, what's the habitat now? Um, you didn't take it, uh, you, you could have taken us to it. Um, well, okay. Terraform. Well, I, I can terraform it myself, but... I guess its habitability is 90%, it's pretty good already. I guess everything went all right. Research complete. Okay, we, uh, but our Kerbals are dying left and right, and I don't have enough influence to replace all of them. That's another problem. Robotic army of droids? Sure, why not? Robotic army of droids. So this science ship is without a scientist. See, I mean, we don't have much influence here. We need much more influence. Research speed industry. I think we could do with that, actually. Hold on. Uh, science. Uh, that That's an industry one. This is an industry one. That one's gonna take uh, 2,100, this one's gonna take 2,800. 
let's have the industry person in here. Okay. And then where's that science ship that needs leader? But I, I, I don't like the computing person there. The computing person needs to do real research. This Gilby Ker Gibble Kerman can do the ship. Yeah. And the physics research can be done by the computing person. Okay, I think uh, we've, we're, we've got a little research station around this neutron star, so that's nice. We're getting uh, four physics research for that. Here in Cador, we could do with some more stations to capture this these minerals. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, where's the hostile fleet? Really? Crystalline entities? Didn't we wipe the galaxy of you? Well, let's give one of our fleets a bit of a stretch. Research complete. Third fleet in Vacradil. Go over there. Defeat the crystalline entity. Xeno Cavalry. Th I guess that turns our pets into mounts? What? Construction complete. Xeno Cavalry. Many of the Kerbal inhabitants on Rockamax have turned to genetic modification to help them cope with the planet's hostile environment. The changes they have made to themselves are being passed on to their offspring, and their physical appearance is changing at an alarming rate. They have started referring to themselves as Neo-Kerbals. Oh no, <laughs> what have we done? Wait, uh, Rockamax, where's, well Rockamax is in the sector. Well, that's a Kerbal. How can we tell if any of them are Neo-Kerbals? Oh, that's a Neo-Kerbal. Very strong, non-adaptive ocean preference. Ocean preference. Well, I think uh, the term... Well, they're... Uh, they're um, what you got? Armies. Those are for uh, uh, ground attacks. Miko, but I don't know. I don't know what they mean by cavalry in the ground attack. I guess it just means a faster moving force or something. Okay, rivalry declared and ended and stuff like that. Oh, we need to declare a rivalry is one thing that we're missing in terms of influence, huh? Um, yeah, who hates us? Nobody actually really, really, really hates us. How about that build They Even the guys that we're at war with like us. We're at war with these guys. Bildros Star State. And they like us. Primitive feudalism. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't communicate with them. I don't like this holy Bildros Principality. Alright. You are our rivals. I want you to know that. Is Divine Mandate. Cool. I don't want to declare the people with overwhelming relative power as my... as my rivals. I don't think I can on that one anyway. Ubarak Cooperative. Where is that? Well, they're, they're pacifists for heaven's sakes. What's the point? Come on, some... Horrible militarist. No, well, these are pacifists too, the Tilnal Nessie next to us. That's the trouble with them, they're pacifists. Kerbals are adorable, yeah. Okay, I think we can send our science ship out to Regor now. S. Jagon administration joined the. Okay. Uh, well, the Alliance. Now has their name in it, so I guess they better be in it. Oh, and Tibor. That's where it was. Survey Tibor. What is this mob Felnol? Oh, okay. Yeah, 
Even when they try to conquer you, yeah. They conquer you with cuteness. Kerbal biology would be extremely interesting, yeah. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that call themselves the Vun Okan State. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communication of another empire we're in contact with. So, new peoples. They look like... something. Uh, greetings. I am honored to have been chosen by Director Kara Kerman. What? Wait. Guys, I'm honored to have been chosen by Director Kara Kerman to represent the Voon Okan state in all diplomatic dealings with your fascinating species. Uh, we have the, their director is called Kerman. We have we strive to unlock the full potential of technology, a goal we hope you will f you find equally worthwhile. I'm almost speechless here. Are we related to them somehow? They have Kermans. We're delighted to meet you. He's a traitor? I, I don't know. I don't think he looks very much like that. Voon Okan State. It's a science directorate too. It's another science directorate. Um, well, we, we can't establish an embassy. Research agreement. No. Oh well. Well, if we can't establish an embassy, I don't know what we can do. Science is proceeding. And we, we're at least gaining some influence now, finally. Still, we're losing two just because we're in this alliance that got us into this war that never ends. So annoying. Okay, so Tybor system has been surveyed, finally, after the removal of the crystalline entities. Oop, up, up, up. There it is. Yeah, nothing else to do up here. Uh, Farragon. Okay, well, I guess we can send the uh, science ship to Farragon. Technology. Ah, we've got new power plants. Disruptors. No... Let's see, any computer tech? Construction time minus 5%. Huh. Sure, I mean, that's his specialty. Go for it. Oh, but that takes a while. Hmm. Anything else in computing? Not really. Oh, well, this one. That's a better point defense system. Analyzed. Evading hostile Let's just go with this, though. Where is the hostile fleet? There's a... Okay, there's a uh, crystalline entity in Farragon. So, fleet in Bacardil. Head on over here. Attack that. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here today. I think, uh, yep. Debris has been analyzed. I mean, the flow of the game is it just sort of proceeds on. I was hoping to get a good war in, but apparently that's never going to end. Next time we'll try and build up our fleet and see if we can match the match the Fallen Empire down here. But I doubt that. We'll probably have to attack somebody else. These guys, I mean, the problem is everybody's nice to us. It's sort of inconvenient.